What's going on guys? How's everyone doing? In just a few days at Apple's annual WWDC event, iOS 17 is slated to be unveiled. So I figured I would put together a top 20 free iOS 15.4 jailbreak tweaks video. All of the tweaks in this video are compatible with the dopamine jailbreak and the links to the tweaks are down below in the description. This tweak gives you the iOS 16.1 battery indicator and on notched devices, this is a much better implementation than having no battery percentage at all. Apple actually did that for a couple of years. If you wanted to see the battery percentage, you had to swipe down and it wasn't inside of the battery icon. This tweak just adds it there. Cylinder Reborn is the classic you all know and love, but updated for rootless jailbreaks. Normally in iOS, if you press and hold on the spacebar, you can move the cursor around, but you can only do it with the spacebar. With this tweak, you can do it with any key on your keyboard. This tweak completely gets rid of your home bar on an iPhone X style device. This tweak adds cool page effects when you're scrolling from top to bottom on an application. CC support in the past has been a framework for other tweaks, but it also functions as its own tweak. With this tweak, you can customize control center toggles that were not able to be customized or moved around or removed, swapped, whatever. So you could put your own little spin on your control center. This tweak adds opening and closing animations to apps when you open and close them. It's pretty cool. It comes built in with a couple of different animations that you can choose from. But yeah, this is another pretty cool tweak. This tweak adds a close all button to the app switcher so you can close all of your apps with just one tap. You can also swipe down on an application to lock it so when you tap the close button, it won't close out of that app that you locked. D&D My Recording automatically enables Do Not Disturb when starting a screen recording on your device. Years ago when Apple introduced the iPhone 6 Plus, when you turn the device sideways, it would rotate all of the icons to landscape orientation. Apple, for whatever reason, got rid of this feature, but this tweak adds it back. And it's pretty cool how simple and how easy it is. Download Bar 13 adds a somewhat familiar progress bar for your application downloads. This was redesigned in iOS 7 and later, so over 10 years later, it's cool to see a tweak bring something like this back. When entering your passcode, this tweak brings cool animations to the dots on the passcode screen. It's a little bit subtle, but it looks pretty cool. Okay, this is another awesome one. If I force touch on an application, I can launch it as a window and it'll pop up like it's a Mac OS application. It's windowed and I can also launch another app on my device as a window. And now I have two windows side by side, the app store and the Twitter app and I can maximize the page or minimize the page. There are some cool multitasking tweaks like this that have existed in the past, but it's always cool to see a feature like this come to iPhone. This tweak gives you the iOS 16 style search bar at the bottom of the screen. If you tap on it, well, it'll open up Spotlight Search. There's also an option to make it open up App Library. This is a pretty cool looking lock screen tweak that gives you some cool functionality. You can see here there are some shortcuts. So here is a flashlight shortcut and there's also a shortcut for Bluetooth that says recommended for you in Spotify. You can put shortcuts to some of your favorite apps on the lock screen and it even looks pretty cool in the dark. 6LS brings back the iOS 6 style lock screen to a modern day device. This isn't the first time I've covered this tweak, but seeing it on my iPhone 11 is always pretty cool. This tweak lets you customize the quick toggles on your lock screen so you can add different ones, you can add multiple, and you can press and hold and it brings up whatever application you chose. This tweak brings the iPad OS style dock to your iPhone. There's been a lot of tweaks like this, but this one is pretty cool. There's also an option to place an app library shortcut in the dock, and overall, I think it's a pretty cool tweak. So, I think I want to listen to some music. When pausing a song without taking your AirPods off, this tweak will automatically switch it from noise cancellation to transparency. This way, you can hear the environment around you and you won't have to do a thing. In concept, this is a really cool idea for a tweak, but unfortunately, it doesn't always work for me. Go into the settings for this tweak and pick a percentage value, and when you're in a dark environment, you can have the bright whites be dimmed a little bit while you're scrolling on your display. This way, it doesn't hurt your eyesight too much. 
As you can see, this doesn't always work, but when it does, it's pretty cool because you don't even have to adjust the brightness on your device. It'll just automatically apply when it does work. So this tweak is pretty cool, but unfortunately, for whatever reason, there's a decent amount of bugs with this tweak and it doesn't always work. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for today's video. If you did enjoy, please make sure to hit that like button. Also, go ahead and subscribe and turn that post notification bell on so that way you never miss out on a brand new upload. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good one, guys. Peace.